Kevin, thanks so much for looking after Jen. I mean, Outback Steakhouse, like, how to manage that? Look, I guess. Nice suit. Uh, the gap, right? Uh-huh. It looks so soft. Oh, your compliment was sufficient, Ryan. Uh, well, hey, Ian. Yeah. Before I forget, congratulations on the new job. Thanks, Ryan. No problem. Ian, hey, by the way, squash? Call me. Friday? Oh, no can do. Oh. Applebee's, 8.30. Got a res. You know those endless mozzarella sticks? Yeah. Oh, one moment. Jesus. You eat Applebee's on a Friday night? How do you swing that? I think he's lying. Yeah, that's a good point. What's that? Chicky Sal? Yeah, made it last night. What do you think? Yeah. Whoa. Very nice. Ryan, check this out. Mm. Can't miss it. I got it from the uh, Guy Fieri website last night, and the umami flavor comes from uh, Tibetan black pepper. Mm. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Well, hey, you gotta check this out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Egg with free-range brown hen. What do you think? Nice. Wait a minute, how did a nitwit like you get so classy? I can't believe Ian preferring Ryan's chicken salad to mine. But wait a second, fellas. You two ain't seen nothing yet. <gasps> Wild game raised chicken. Pale nimbus white. It's the good stuff. Look at the subtle off white coloring, tasteful thickness of it. Oh my god. It even has water chestnuts. Kevin, are you okay? You're sweating. <laughs> Can't believe they chose their dishes over mine. That was a way better chicken salad. Who puts eggs inside of a chicken? That's just psychotic. Hi, welcome to Kevin's Kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a real chicken salad. Not one with all these fancy ingredients like apples or craisins. No, we're gonna use simple ingredients like mayonnaise and pepper and lemon juice. So let's get started so I could show those guys how it's really done. See, here's the thing, you know, when you make a chicken salad or pretty much any salad, you know, I don't get the idea of like people throwing in so many ingredients that you forget that there's chicken in it. I swear to God. You know, the other thing that bugs me is mayonnaise. You don't really need a lot in your salads. It just needs to glaze the food. You're not trying to drown it in it. So now that we got the mayonnaise, let's add some chicken. So I'm gonna totally cut myself. Man, I could really kill for a towel right now. Thank you. Oh, all right. Get a little bit of food in here, something, something crunchy, you know, really gets it going. That's fine. <sighs> you know, they're not gonna taste the difference. I'm just gonna tell them it's organic. Get a little bit of dirt on there. It's free range. You know, surprisingly, I'm, I'm a lot calmer than I thought it would be. You know? <sighs> All right. You know, throw in some more fruit. Let's see, that's fine. No. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. <sighs> yes. That was a bad grape. I knew it. And finally, add some dill. You know, nice and fragrant. You know, I, I like to use this in case I have to hide a body. No one's gonna know after it's decomposing because dill smells great. And now we get to the mixing. Surprisingly, this is a very calming experience for me. It lets me get a good insight into myself and why I hate everyone.
All right. That, you guys, is how you make chicken salad. Not too hard, you don't have to throw anything fancy. And I think this is a good time to serve this to my friends. And so, when you get your salad together, serve with some bread, some crackers, and voila. Uh, now's a good time to murder your friends. I like to use this one. Uh, I call her mother, because she stabs. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Kevin's Kitchen. Hey guys, have you heard the new Huey Lewis CD? Tastes like friendship. Hold on. <laughs> Where's the camera? Look into the camera. The camera